Hello and good morning. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is a Saturday. Saturday, I think the 17th. Um, welcome to episode 4 of Vlogtober. I have no plans. <laughs> I have no plan with my life. Um, the plan for today was to wake up and do some laundry. And then go out a bit later for a house that I'm supposed to go and view. I am planning on moving because... My pastor, there's a sermon that my pastor preached, I think about four weeks ago, that was talking about growth. And yeah, as he was preaching, I never felt the conviction and yeah, the need to really just grow. Like, Fadzai, get out of your comfort zone and allow God to just show up in your life. So yeah, I am planning on moving out. There's an apartment that I saw in Avenues. It's a bed sitter. It's really nice from the pictures that I saw. So I'm supposed to go see that apartment today. And then if I like it and if it's beautiful, I am most likely going to pay my lease. No, to pay my um, rentals. No, to pay my deposit. And then after that, um, then get a lease and then move in on the 1st of October. But the agent that I've been working with, oh my gosh, she is a pain. He's been a pain. He's been a pain. But anyway, I pray and I hope that that will go well. So the plan for today was to wake up and do my laundry. I was supposed to do my laundry yesterday on Friday after work. But my brother ended up hijacking my afternoon and... Yeah, like, I, the long and the short of it is I ended up getting home at 9 p.m. Was it? Past 9. And then I turned to my laundry. So now when I was sleeping, I convinced myself, but you know what, Fazai? You're going to wake up and do your laundry in the morning and then clean your house. And then my skirt was a Buddha window town. was end up knowing at the house that you're supposed to go see. But... The problem is, I can't do my laundry today because where I stay, it's an Adventist house. The owners of this house, they're Adventist. So when I moved in, one of the rules that kind of regulates me was that I cannot do any work um, on Saturday. I eat laundry. I think for me, it only just applies to my laundry. So I can't do laundry on, on Saturday because this house is an Adventist house. And I think for the entire year, I've abided to that rule. Um, my laundry has only been done during the weekdays or on Sunday. But now, because I'm at a, I don't have money to pay someone to do laundry for me on Sunday, and I have a lot of laundry. So now the plan was, I'm going to do laundry part of it today and then part of it tomorrow. So now I wake up now around 9, I'm done with everything that I was doing online. And then I decide, let me just get my laundry. Do not go to the, like, to him, but I'm going to watch so that I wash real quick when everyone is at church. And then I bring back, like, the laundry inside my room when it's washed. And then I'll put it up on the line later on when Sabbath is done. So just as I am packing my clothes and I'm about to go out, guess what happens? I get a conviction. This conviction says to me, hey, are you sure you're not cheating? I'm like, cheating who? This is my laundry. Like, I, I, like, one of the rules that you signed in when you got into this house was you're not going to do laundry on Saturday. What is this nonsense of you wanting to do laundry now? I'm like, how? How? So, <laughs> anyway, so that conviction hit and it stick and I'm not doing laundry anymore because I really felt like it's cheating and it doesn't work so now i'm not doing laundry i'm supposed to clean this house because that much i can do because it's within the four rooms that i pay money for so i want to clean this house because it's a mess it's a mess it's a mess it's a mess um there was no zesa the entire week this week so after work i'll just get home and drop everything everywhere and just make sure that i sleep so i need to fix this house what's then going to happen with my laundry is i think i'm gonna have to wake up early in the morning tomorrow before church do part of my laundry go to church 
come back from church early there's no sense of coming back home at 6 p.m tomorrow it's not happening as soon as church is done i'm most likely going to come back home and then do my laundry and then it's happy days so that's basically what i'm doing today and now um clean this house cook something to eat <clears throat> and then go for the house viewing and then yeah we'll see what happens after that do some laundry the time is exactly six o'clock and let's go to some laundry some laundry some laundry so this bunch of laundry is made up of denims because i wear a lot of jeans sometimes so i i divided it into two um like two baskets rather of laundry the one that's hard and then that the one that's easier this one is the one that's hard so i'm doing this one first and then later on i can do like the tops and the dresses because they're a little bit easier to wash so yeah i am moving this mountain and then go to church another thing that i very found to be convenient for me is packaging my my washing powder like this i almost said myself it's packaging my washing powder like this i just feel like it's nicer and it's easy to manage and yeah it it really also just does make home economics sense
I'm done with laundry. Um, well, not really, but the clothes that I wanted to wash, I've washed them. I'm only left with another basket that I think and hope that I'll be able to wash later. So now what I need to do is I just need to tidy up this house. I've got a number of dishes that need to be done, but I don't think I'll be doing those this morning. I'll probably be doing them later on Mascati. So yesterday I I went into town because remember I told you guys that I need to go to town see the agent for house view and when I get into town the person moves at the house that I want to move into her number wasn't reachable and then I tried calling her I left her a whatsapp message that I then saw this morning could it was delivered but because it was around six I was like ah it's too early to call let me not call and now an hour later I try calling and the number is not reachable anymore Anyway, so yesterday I did some thrifting by Construction House. Um, I bought a pair, like two pairs of jeans for my sister. I'm going to need to do like some thrifting hauls for you guys because I am always, like 80% of my clothes at this point, they're thrifted. But I'm, I think I'm going to do like a thrifting haul um, just when I have bigger space and when I have cleaner walls. So that the video will look aesthetically pleasing. So anyway, I bought this nice pair of mommy jeans um, for her. I'm not really sure of her size here. So I just took what I saw and I hope pretty she fits. These are like your original Lee denims. And then I also bought her. Um, oh, this also Lee. Denims. I also bought another pair of Lee denims. These are your straight jeans. Your straight leg. I don't know. Yeah. But I know she's gonna look so good in this. The thing about my sister that I don't have is my sister has umzimba. Like her, her lower body. Lower bodies. Like <laughs> that girl's lower body. Lower bodies. So when I saw these when i saw these i was like these are perfect so yes i, I don't know how i'm gonna get this to her because i don't think i'll be going home anytime soon but we will definitely make a plan and then i left it let me show you and then i saw this really cute pair of shoes i didn't have the money i okay i had ten dollars but um it wasn't meant to buy shoes, but when I saw these cute babies, when I saw those amazing cute babies, I was like, ah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, the Lord will be my shape, but guys, these are nice. Oh gosh. Oof. Oof. This are going for 10 bucks. And I was like, there's a bargain. And as much as I don't like your the the shoes that come with the transparent thingy, I don't know what they're called. But with these ones, I was like, okay, I'll make an exception. And I actually did. But anyway, let me prepare for church. I'll talk to you guys later. The followers must eat fish. I'll take a bite. 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 I
Okay, that is just giving us a little picture now. Dandering coco, dandering coco, ah, dandering coco. Imagine one of your students. Yeah. Gonna be yes, man. Yes, man. Yes, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, not the owner. I'm not a shop shop. What did you say? What did you say?